Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Little Z. I went on X the other day and it has gone to shit. Pop it one. Uh, hey guys, jorts are lit. <laughs> You're not wearing jorts. Hey. Director Connor. Uh, Apple Podcast Reviews. Give us a five star review on podcast. And special Apple. guest. All right, all right, all right. I'm Matthew McConaughey. And I'm, I think we should leave a five star review. It wasn't actually Matthew McConaughey. No, it was, it was, it was. He left a voice message for us. That's yeah. huge. Like in the radio where it's like, hey, I'm Doji Cat. And you're yeah. listening to 92.9. Yeah. 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 All right, all right, all right. Leave a five-star review on Apple. Yeah, we haven't checked the Apple podcast reviews in a while. How do we check them? Whoa. I don't know. I don't even look at Apple. I don't actually, have I just got an iPhone. You've got an iPhone. So oh. You, you should get that up. We Let's, should read them. At the end of the episode. We'll do it. <laughs> Well, because we're not a five-star podcast yet, we've done a shit Matthew McConaughey impression. And, <laughs> and talked about getting five-star reviews. <laughs> yeah, so we got to put in the work first. That's got to be some of the most efficient money when the uh, singers are like, get paid to say every radio station. Well, how do you know they get paid? They the radio must. stations could just be like, say it's Ariana Grande. Yeah. They're just like, uh, say our thing or we'll never play Thank You Next on the radio. She's like, fine, she, no yeah. worries. Don't You're play fun, my if, ridiculously if, popular song that people need to in listen In one out to. of six channels in Perth. Yeah. I who, bet they pay good yeah, money. Yeah, but who do you think holds the cards? The artist or the radio? De- the radio's dead. No one the cares artist, about radio. For sure. The artist holds the cards. Okay, what, why doesn't Spotify... Does Spotify do that? I've actually had the paid version for a while. Of Spotify? Yeah, so I don't remember like the oh, ads. Oh, me too. No, the I'm ads are sure. just like different. They're like... I don't know. What, yeah, it's like, like an ad rate thing. Yeah, like the radio like needs to pay the artists so people listen to the radio and then they get ads and then that's how they pay the artists. I think they're not getting... That would be a huge play of the radio is just getting paid from the artist to play the music and from the sponsors. That would be So sick. when does the artist get paid? Imagine that. Yeah. Like we I have to pay to have it on Spotify to get it played on the radio. It just it wouldn't make sense. Where would that... Uh, yeah, no one buys those little discs anymore, eh? Hey? Do you? CDs. <laughs> Well, you've what are they called? The name the of them, albums. So. CDs? CDs, yeah. yeah. Do you do that? <laughs> what do you mean? I don't buy CDs. He just gave no. you the name, then you said, what are they called? Yeah. Yeah, but aren't they smaller than a CD? No. Jordan, do you I like... I never buy them. I, I mean, know. do you even like CDs? What no. do you mean? What's smaller Because you can see CDs nuts on your face. Oh, oh I okay. said I didn't like Now we're five that, out of five. <laughs> okay. Now we're, we're a five-star podcast. Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. I didn't realize it was so easy to get there. If anyone here was could have buy little music things, CDs... It would be Jackson, I think, out of us three. I, I have vinyls. See? Oh, uh, yeah. They're not little CDs. They're though. big ones. Yeah. Everything comes back around, doesn't they? Uh, no, not really. No, some things well, like do, yeah. Vinyls are popular now. Like yeah. People are going to be holding CDs in the future. Are mm. vinyls popular? I haven't seen one. They actually are. Yeah, they're kind of popular. Can't be that popular. Not as popular as Spotify. Correct. Well, yes. It doesn't mean it's not popular. Popular. How it just popular means it's does something need to be to be popular? You know what? I don't think The I, Rock is popular because he's not as popular as Barack Obama. No, like, no, that's a fucking stupid Vinyl is, sentence. Vinyl's so low down on the list, you know? I feel of like. What? Of popular. I feel like Monopoly's more popular, but I wouldn't go around saying. They're oh, not it comparable! Is. Monopoly's a board game. <laughs> yeah. More people have that than a vinyl. Yeah, probably. So oh, po- there's more popular. No, there's no arguing with that. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to say. completely fucking stupid. Let it go then, through the keepers. Yeah, not. Okay. You know, I think orangutans are more popular than bananas. Yeah. Well, that's no incorrect. Way. But you can no see way. how it's not possible to compare. Okay. It is possible to compare, and you're Ooh. wrong. That's why we're ro- you're wrong. <laughs> All right, John, get a starter this week. What have um, you got for us? Has anyone been watching any TV recently? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've actually been, I've almost finished Always Sunny in Philadelphia in like the nice. last month. Oh, I'm also reality TV. If you guys had to go on reality TV show, oh, yeah. what one would it be? The Bachelor, obviously. What well, do you mean, obviously? I mean, look at me. <laughs> oh. I mean, no, that does wait, sound I'm like a pretty decent. Uh. <laughs> what do you mean, obviously? <laughs> no, I just mean... <laughs> Maddie's downstairs right now and she cooks some delicious muffins. You can't be... Yeah, down. what is she making <laughs> down there? Uh, muffins. That shit smelled great. It smelled like muffins. Yeah. That was a guess, but it was a huge play. What a muffin. I'm so always great. cooking up a storm in the kitchen, Maddie. Yeah, baking respect. something delicious. Also, yeah, definitely not The Bachelor if I could... <laughs> if I could tell you I that. I would go on Big Brother. I don't know if you guys... Is Big Brother a thing in America as well? Big Brother, yeah, Americans. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it. I think it's just American, like every it? TV show, it started in America, and Australia did a bad. Even version Master of it. Chef. Yeah, you know the show is called Master Chef Australia. 
That's because it's in Australia. Yeah, and the uh, the American one's just called Master Chef. Whoa! See, they they've taken over. They've well, they well. invented it, but yeah, then they t- <laughs> but it's not Master Chef America, right? It's it's Is Master it? Chef. I haven't seen it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't and know Master either. Chef Australia sounds right. Usually Australians don't American invent. Idol. That's they say America in that. Yeah, and we've got Australian Idol. See, we just copy them with everything. No, but they America's got, got talent. It. We've got Australia's got talent. And it is far less talented. Yeah, well, there's less people. Yeah. Mm. But I loved Big Brother. You get to play the little game. I did that. actually love that when I was younger as well. But you, you look back on it and it's a bit weird. Like, everyone is just fucking and getting filmed. No, they ain't Big Brother, kinda, are they? They're not yeah. getting it on, no, are they? They are. Do you not remember? And then sometimes they would play like the. The fucking, like, noises of people having sex and, like, getting all intimate. Oh, God, I don't remember what? this. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never watched it. Well, that's, that's part of it. You've never watched it? No. You, you lock enough people in no, a house for like six it. months and some of them are going to have sex. I guess you're going to have to. Well, not have to, <laughs> but if, yeah, there's a bunch of single Hopefully people in a house, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? But, yeah, that's, I think, and um, we, we would have watched it, like, I assume when you were younger, you would have been in, like, school. Big Brother's such a bad play. Survivor, so Yeah, that's much what I, I love, Survivor. I'd pick Survivor. Survivor, that oh, would be unique. Oh, because you learn, like, real-life skills as well? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 Alone is more real-life skills. Can we go one by one on, like, your strategies to win? So, like, Big Brother. Big Brother, you just got to make friends, I think. And you got to not be too good at the games. Because they have the games... Kind of like mm. Survivor, where if you win, you get immunity or something. Yeah. And then if someone's hella good, they lose once, and then everyone's like, let's freaking get them. Is it? F- I thought that was fan voted, Big Brother. No. No, the people no, kind it of. Is, it's both. Oh, oh okay. it's both? It's fan voted, but you do get immunity from the games. Because uh, I, I remember. So, why is being good at the games? No, no, people vote. vote each other out, at least in the latest one that I saw. Anyways, oh. th- like my memory is like this super jacked person came in and he was like flexing and showing off to everyone. He's like a, just an absolute beast. And so as soon as the first challenge came around, everyone voted him out. They were like, see ya. They were like nah, none of this. And yeah. the people who made it to kind of the end are kind of just the people who, who made the most friends and weren't too No, no you can't be too good at the game. Survivors are a bit like that too usually. Yeah, so you got to be low key. Yeah, because you could win like 90% of the games and then you lose one. Lose one, you're dumb. But you yeah. you are very competitive, Jordan. So do you think you could but I'm not handle very good. like... But I think you'd be good at the challenges. I don't think so. There's a lot of swimming and I am not a fast swimmer. <laughs> there's a lot and of, there's a lot of there running. A lot of swimming? There's a lot of swimming and running around, isn't there, in Survivor? In Survivor, oh, yeah. Th- yeah Survivor. We really got to decide which show we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was you keep flipping between without telling <laughs> yeah, us what we're sorry. talking about. <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. Both. Well, let's let's go Big Brother mm. to start with. Okay. Which there's there's not a lot of swimming. So you wouldn't be competitive in the like Friday night games for immunity. I what are the, give it what tr- are the games in Big Brother like? Oh, it's just like obstacle courses and like yeah. fun, sort of funny wipeouts. Still wipe physical, stuff. Kind of, uh-huh. yeah, kind of stuff. Or like endurance tests, like hold on to some, like kind of like Survivor, Survivor a bit similar. as well. Yeah, okay. Um, I feel like I would, I would be competitive, but then I'd be nice about it. And I'd be like, oh, you have my immunity or whatever. And then people like me. Then when it gets to the end, I hang on to it. Try and win like two in a row. Okay. Yeah. I I think I would give up on the games because I'm not... Oh, no, I am competitive. I would just be bad at them, but I would be trying my hardest. I don't think I'd be that good at either. Are there people like... Are are these people athletes that are on this Sometimes. The last one had like some AFL player or something. I don't know. Most of them are Like a retired AFL player. I think so. Because like on reality TV, they want everyone to be You need eye candy. Eye candy. Yeah. And yeah, Jordan's both, works. so yeah. you might have a good shot. Very true. He's hot and ripped, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. He's got to come hand in hand like a bit. Hot and ripped. Yeah. yeah you really is there someone who's super jacked and you're like, fucking ugly? Yeah, probably. Not really. Yeah, who's ugliest face to hottest body ratio? Isn't that called something? It's like a prawn? A prawn. Yeah, yeah Holly told me about that. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard it before, but apparently it was a thing in her school. But it was mainly for guys calling girls that. Right. I, I thought guys it was don't really cop it. I feel with that. Guys What's like a bigger, uglier prawn, like a lobster. Yeah. And think of SpongeBob. No, no, the no, no, lobster no. Is the is Larry the lobster. Mega Jack. No, no. Yeah. The whole point is with prawns, you like take off the head and you just eat the, the body. Bad. The you body's just want good. The body. Well, have you ever eaten a lobster head? I guess Checkmate. I haven't eaten any. Like I haven't eaten a cow's head. Yeah, I don't eat many heads. No heads. Yeah, but a cow's not as jacked as a lobster. <laughs> In my mind, <laughs> 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 I think I'm just thinking of a Larry the lobster. Pretty jacked, actually. Right, yeah. <laughs> probably. What are we talking about? Uh, we Big were brother. on Big Brother. Okay, <laughs> um, survivor tactics. Yeah. 
I I would die. I'm so bad at like wilderness stuff. It's not like it's not as it's completely not that like that. It's not like alone. Have no, you seen alone? it is, I, and I you're also in a group. It's more. I think in, important in that show is like carrying your weight around camp and stuff like that. Like going to get water. Mm. And it's it like boom. um relationship building and double crossing in that, isn't it? Yeah, being able to read people is really important in that game. Like, I think seeing I'm, if you can trust someone a lot more. Yeah, I'm terrible at that too because I. I mean, if you've ever watched like a Smash Bros. free for all video that we've done, <laughs> I change alliances like flipping a coin. You do every it once, five and then I'd be like, they would talk to each other and be like, "Hang on, we got to get this guy, guy out of here." This guy. <laughs> I'm a bit of a table talker, and um, you guys know Settlers of Catan. Yeah, yeah. I play that with my family quite a lot, with like six people, and there's a lot of table talking going around. How do you play I'll with be six? Like, uh, is that an expansion. Ex- expansion. Yeah, sorry, yeah. go on. Um, but it's just like classic talking over the table and like someone is about to make a trade and I'm like, I'm the one like tracking cards and I'm like, no, I know that like a six and a seven's been, or like a six and an eight and a 10's been rolled, which means like this person's my got sister's this, yeah. got like three of the resources. And if you trade her this one, she's going to build a settlement right there and you don't want that to happen. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> big braining for the whole table. And then you're doing all the heavy lifting with a no one trusts you. Exactly. Yeah. But then I, I'm very loud. So eventually some people do trust me. But then sometimes I'll end up winning because there's no one doing it back to me. Because mm. I mean, I'm making it sound like I'm mega big brain, but I don't actually are. win that much. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I wonder how it's hard just it would my be. Strat. I wonder how hard it would be to tell when you're in the moment if you're getting double crossed or not. Because in TV show, it's so easy because you're like, this person talks to this person, and then they show they that show person it. walking off and being like, we I think so I'm good totally at totally guarded. I do think I'm pretty good at reading people in general. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't know. You are. And I think I'm difficult to read. So I think I would be good in that game. Mm. When we did the Two Truths, One Lie video, yeah. and Jackson oh, got yeah. every yeah, single I think I'm usually pretty right. good at doing that. That was impressive. Yeah. I was really bad at that. So maybe I'm in shambles, actually. But I, no I think chance. sometimes when someone's really good at that, you don't trust them as well. Oh, you're right. There's something no, you about are the, not trustworthy. I yeah. think it's the moustache as well. <laughs> <laughs> I should get rid of that. Yeah. I think like if people can feel like they can predict you like you, I think you're easily readable, which makes you trustworthy. True. Like I would feel comfortable trusting you, but you probably wouldn't feel comfortable trusting me no, in trust a game you, like that. I think. Well, if we didn't know each other. Oh, okay, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? That's that's true as well, actually. Yeah, very interesting. Also, did you guys see Neuralink? That guy who got the it. first one who has it. Now he's playing video games because he's like paralyzed. What? But he's playing like like ba- like he's been able to play chess and he was playing like Civ Sorry, 6. He's paralyzed? He's paralyzed, yeah. So that's probably why he was like, I'll be first. Oh, well, he probably might I thought have he got paralyzed from it. No! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. not heard about this? No, no, so he was a paralyzed person. So he was probably like, fuck it, I'll go give it a it. go. Yeah. And so that's he's the first a, yeah. person with Neuralink and he's been play, playing chess recently. Wow, that's really Which cool. is really cool. But also, how are you going to start to stop cheating <laughs> in chess? What do you mean start mm. to stop cheating? I don't understand. Because he, he, who's going to stop him uploading in his fucking Neuralink uh, a bot? A database. An AI mm. chess, like ELO 3000. Yeah, and what? When Wait, we enter but how, okay, but how would that work uploading in his brain? Because I don't think there's a way for know. him to like read things in his brain yet. I think he just uses his brain to control yeah. the computer. So far, it's all good. Yeah, but when we get to like uploading information directly to the brain. I think there's way better applications than becoming the best chess player. Yeah, that's probably true. You could build, like, you could become a rocket scientist overnight. Yeah, but are you going to get as much money if you just well, I don't play think, chess well? Okay, well, if we're talking about money, I still don't think chess is the best option. Yeah, that's true. I think may mm. well, I get, what, I think what would be a though? game show is dead. Like, can you go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and you just can just get You can answer? just be Googling in your yeah. brain. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. weird, right? But uh, yeah, apparently he's turned into a bit of a just D-Gen gamer now because he's like... <laughs> he's probably just never been able to do that before. Exactly. Right? He's like, holy shit. I was watching it literally this morning. He's like, man, I was able to play Civ 6, so I just played it till 6 a.m., baby. Yeah. What is... Which is pretty freaking cool. Imagine you haven't been able to do anything and now you can play Civ 6 and chess and stuff. It's crazy. Does he play Civ 6 but just by moving the mouse? Uh, I didn't look like, into it specifically, but... If you know what Civ 6 is, it is kind of just like a board game. It's turn-based mm. stra- strategy. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I don't know the specifics, but it must be similar to chess where you can just, yeah, kind of be controlling a mouse. I like Quinn plays games rights. It was very cool, but like, what if you think of a bad move and it does it? 
<laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to move Knight to D3. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Feels like, got it, Knight to D3. Yeah. yeah. You, it's like the Siri thing when it's like, just can't understand you. It's the it'd same be, concept. It'd be good for speed chess, but if you're mulling over a few options and the first one you sort of like pops into your brain, there yeah. must be some kind of way to confirm it. I would hope so. Like you have to say in your head, like orange monkey. <laughs> and then it says, and then it's like, okay, that's the, that's that's the code. Got it. Or maybe there's a shorter way of doing that, like yes. Yeah, but what? Mm, but yes could come up in other ways. I suppose. It's probably like confirm move or something like that. Yeah, right? and you have to think of it. I haven't looked into the details of how it works, but it's oh, pretty I was cool. thinking of moving knight to d3 yesterday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. That is sick. Well, uh, also it's going to ruin... The human race. You um, know, yeah. 50 50. I don't know, Stuart. I, I don't think it's going to happen in our lifetime for some reason. I think it's well, It already has quick. happened in our lifetime. No, but like to the extent that it takes over. Right. Depends how long we live. So don't go running that's out true. trying to get paralyzed, I suppose. Definitely not. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, that's, that's good advice no matter what. Yeah, that is good advice. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you Steve. are a big brain. Yeah. Dude, you're a totally win survivor. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Anyone else got anything? <laughs> That's all you got? <laughs> nah, I've been thinking about... Um, well, I was trying to think of a question of the week. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I think I've run out of questions. Wow. I don't know Have what that means. Have you finally been enlightened? I think so, maybe, yeah. I've, I've got no questions left to ask. Well, I was thinking, try to come up with a game to do with Dune, the movie. I haven't seen it. No, neither have I. Don't neither. worry. <laughs> it's don't worry, guys. If you haven't seen Dune as well, well you are it, right in the it's right sci-fi, place. It's sci-fi, apparently. Yeah. So it's par- okay, like, well, I know a little more than that. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Well, I, know there's, I know there's dunes. Believe it or not, <laughs> sand dunes. <laughs> okay. I, I, I didn't guess. know specifically there was, and but I could have guessed, I suppose. Get this, guys. Go on. Giant sandworms. Like, like oh, fucking huge. 40 times bigger than a blue is whale. Is that what that classic animal is from, Dune? Those big, animal. those big worms with teeth, and yeah. they kind of dive out. I never knew that was from yeah. June, but that's a classic. Like, uh, it's probably not from June. Animal I think. Yeah, I haven't seen June, but I watched a video I essay so. on uh, whether the sandworms from June would actually be able to move in real life based on science. And June's really old. Is it the books? Yeah, apparently Star Wars was based on it. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I think the Sarlacc. Um, no, not the Sarlacc. That big pit. Yeah, isn't that called the Sarlacc monster? Yeah, the thing that's like you fall, Boba Fett. The Boba falls Fett falls in. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Jabba the Hutt the takes to them too. The yeah. big worm. I feel like it is called the Sarlacc monster. Hmm. Boba Fett. Death. No, that's the pit that has the big other... We're, we're getting distracted. Anyway. It starts with a D, I think. Sarlacc. Oh, almost. After falling into a Sarlacc. Ah. Um, the only way sandworms could physically move is if they eat a lot of sand and shit it out behind them. Yeah, apparently, but I mean, it just doesn't work in any sense. But it's like, like it it's, propelled sand through it. Yeah, that was the most feasible way because, like, actually, like if it was like a snake trying to slither through the sand, how does a worm like, move normally? Uh, I think they extend their body and then like contract it, mm. and then they so keep doing do that. that? Uh, no, because it's too much like sand to displace. It's just very physically. Impossible. Well, and sand's probably more compact than like dirt. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, did you know that rice is really compact too? Guys, if you want to work out your forearms, one of the best possible things to do is get a bucket of rice. <laughs> this is this No, is no, true. tell me, because I, I yeah. want to start working out my, my grip strength. My grip is so bad, Yeah, as well, we know. You've only got two arms to work out. But what? Who else has more? Instead of four arms. Four arms. Okay, yeah. I'm going to oh, yeah. oh, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> you put your hand in the bucket of rice, in right. the rice. Like downwards, like, I'm picturing. Yeah, yeah, and you can mo- you can like rotate your hand, you can squeeze. And right, like, like rotate. Go. And so. Anything you do is just like, it's hard to move your fingers in a bucket of rice. Oh. And you want to like, you want to compress the rice, you want to grip, you want to twist, you want to do anything. And it's just working out your forearms. Why rice? Because it's compact. Yeah. Isn't it sand like, like better? Well, it's like the s- the sand of the culinary world. They call mm. rice. Yeah, but why waste food? Why don't you use sand? Like, just go to the beach and get it for free. I or think something. rice has probably got like a, a good mix of being able to. You squeeze actually it. can do it. Yeah, because it's I guess more displaceable, but yeah, but still compact. I didn't know rice would be that compact. That doesn't seem correct. Wow, well, yeah, I've not tried it. True. I'm just I'm just we telling try you. It I live on the pod next week. <laughs> I was looking up some forearm exercises to do. 
Mm. Uh, to improve my lobster grip. <laughs> yeah, yes. your grip week too. My grip's always been so weak. I like chin ups um, and stuff are good, is it? Is it so yeah, that? I want to start doing more of yeah, that. Yeah, but for me, I, mm. I fail the chin up before it gets to the grip. Yeah, failing. like I can't, I can't do a single pull up. I do the be- be- like chin ups with a resistance band. Yeah, that's good. You can just hold on to a bar. Yeah, holding on to it's hang, good. Yeah, hangs are good. But I want to get more grippy gripness. <laughs> Grip strength? Grip strength, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like grippy gripness a lot, yeah. though. Yeah, you've got the thing. Yeah, Holly got me those, but she got me ones that are just too hard for me what? to That's do. That's too hard for Wait, you to what's, do. What's yeah. the thing? Did oh, you try wow. it? Yeah, I was doing it while I was at your desk. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, I'm jealous. What's the thing? You can't just say the thing and I'm here. Oh, oh sorry. yeah, sorry. Those hand grip things where you squeeze okay. them together, but okay. I'm too weak to do it. Jackson came over and was fucking flexing. Doing them. Oh, so you're too weak to use the thing to make you stronger. Exactly. That so I need sucks. to get a weaker version of it so I can upgrade to that version. Rice. Bucket of rice. But I might just get a one that is less, uh, what's it called? All right, Kilos well, if needed. If it costs more than a bucket and a bag of rice, It doesn't have five bucks from Kmart. I had a look. Oh, they, I might just get one. I loved doing it. Feel yeah. Good. No, that, well, you probably need a stronger one. The ones that no, Kmart the, got that was to. A good, it was a good level. The ones that came out go up to 60 kilos of strength needed. That that Whoa. that one that you were doing was 150 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilos. What, 75, 80? 60 kilos. Yeah, that's, that's almost, almost 60 exactly. exactly. Oh, but the Kmart it? one can go up to it. Zero to 60. It's adjustable? Yeah, adjustable. Pretty cool. The Kmart is like the Walmart know. of Australia. Yeah. And yeah. apparently they got the best forearm exerciser that we got. I need to get more into that. Wait, is grip strength easy to do with forearm strength? Yeah, it's related. It's like, if you're doing this, see how like oh, your yeah, forearm okay. kind of moves? Yeah, it's all in the fingies. Because I started having issues when I was working out. Like if I was doing bicep curls, my forearms would get like nerve pain because my forearms oh, weak. are so weak compared oh, like to the rest part. of me. Yeah. Damn. Um, sure. And for jiu-jitsu as well, it sucks not being able to grab and hold someone. Do you do wrist strength stuff? Uh, no, no, I need to do all of the above. Do you like, this is a good one where you... This is so boring. Anyway, what about <laughs> you put your arm down like this and you, when you lean forward uh, on your body. Oh. Like you put this and then lean forward and see how much weight your body can you take. You look like you have a good grip. Oh, yeah, that's great for huh? the audio podcast. Y- yeah, sorry, no good. <laughs> I said you look like you have a good grip because you've got like veiny forearms. Yeah, yoga. Yeah. Do yoga. Because in jiu-jitsu, if someone grabs a hold of me, you got some of these boys are they bloody. Got, they got, they got crazy grip. Yeah. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. The rice. Did you guys hear about that? Uh, it's quite tragic, actually. Someone fell out of a hot air balloon in Melbourne and no. uh, fell to their death. Why do I feel like a joke's coming? No, so this, do I. No, <laughs> this, is, this is no joke. This is the lead in to what I've been looking into this week. Right. Uh, yeah, Big it was trampoline. quite a tragic. circle back to my June thing. <laughs> it was quite a tragic death. I don't know how you fall out of a hot air balloon. Though. Yeah, I can imagine. The, the walls are very high. Uh-huh. And because uh, I recently went in one when I proposed to Maddie. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, he fell out and landed on a road and was like, "Fuck!" Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine it was. That. It was awful, and it happened this past week. God. So let's forget about how in o- Melbourne. Yeah. Feels too close to home. It's very, very close. close to home, and it's very unfortunate. So let's move on to a bit of a lighter note, and these are some of the funniest deaths in history because <laughs> it got me. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a strange death. I've not heard of someone falling out of a obscure, hot definitely. Yeah. So I'm not trying to disrespect that, but it led into me having a look into some weird deaths. In and I've turned it into a bit of a game. Okay. Ooh. It's called... You know I love a game. Dying or lying. Oh, so is it a real death or a fake death? This is Yeah, great. or one that I've made up. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, our first one. Man with the world's longest beard trips over his beard when running away from a fire. <laughs> no, no, lying. Burns to death. No lying. Well, I mean, you can't instantly. Ch- you got to talk about it a bit. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, there's no. I feel like those circumstances combining are crazy. There's a person with the world's longest beard, mm-hmm. and he's in a fire. I feel like the that's got to be that. It's very long. It's that's got to be just a very no way. Uh, what's the longest beard you've ever seen? Like, I know that the I I've haven't seen the seen? longest beard, but like it would be like belly hip, button, your hip. I've hip, seen maybe seen down hip. the hip. Yeah. But what? then you've got to no. do the whole whole leg <laughs> think about how much longer that is and i think if you are that person but it's the well it's longest you're though. probably chilling it's probably someone who just Sorry, I'm, I'm just i didn't read any more into this so i could talk about it too read oh so it's true then well i could be just saying that he might be trying to bait us <laughs> i feel like the world's longest beard is someone who's like in india who just meditates in the mountains or something and there's right. no fires there it's too cold. <laughs> well, that's sound. That's logic. a good point. You can't have fires in in the cold. Up. I'm going with truth. 
No way. I've changed. False. Yeah, Jackson caught on. <laughs> I gave myself away. Yeah, there. it did. was true. He exposed wow. himself. I said uh, I didn't read too much into it, and I re- I'll, I'll stop talking. Wait, uh, so he really had the world's longest beard and tripped and died in a fire? He didn't read too like much I, into like it. Like I said, I didn't really verify these too much. I don't believe but it. But I did still. find them in like a like weird as death. Yeah, when cool. Researching. Wow. Them. All right. A construction worker who's not wearing a hard hat dies when another worker's hard hat drops on his head <laughs> and he loses balance and falls off the roof. Oh. That's... Yeah, sorry for laughing. He's very well, sad. Well, I don't think you'd die if a hard hat actually hit you on the head, would you? Could yeah, you enough. could die from a coin. Isn't that a Mythbusters thing? They drop a coin off a... Yeah. <laughs> what, and kill someone? <laughs> <laughs> no, they drop it yep, into like he's a dummy. Dead. Uh, yeah. Classic Jamie and... Who's the other guy? Curtis? No. <laughs> I don't no. know, actually. Not the uh, Jamie Curtis. He died, stone. didn't he? What, the Mythbusters guy? Did oh, he? no, it's the Asian the Asian no, I, I backup almost did a, um, guy who was with them. I don't remember that Someone's guy. dead. Oh, yeah. that's. I'll say that. That's also... Can we not do the tragic stuff? This is meant to be a lighthearted game. Right. We've, we've already gone a bit I feel dark. like it's just tragic no matter what. Someone's dying. Yeah, someone did die. But anyway. I feel like if you saw someone's mm. helmet fall down and hit someone in the head and kill them, you wouldn't be like, ha ha. Just, yeah, but still we're tragic. pretty disconnected from these. But when it's the, okay. the yeah, guy I'll from Mythbusters, I feel like I grew up watching him. Is, yeah, you're right. It? I didn't grow up watching this guy on the construction. So who cares? If, we don't even know if he's real. <laughs> I think this one's real. I think that could have happened. I think it's... He fa- sorry, he lost balance? He lost balance. Yeah, I'm going to say fake. That part I don't really believe. Yeah, me either. I reckon you either just die. Can or, we have it one more time? Uh, a construction worker do- who's not wearing a hard hat is killed when another worker's hard hat drops on his head. He loses balance and falls off the roof. No. No. I'm going with lying. Also, I, we have a clarification from Sir uh, Sir Muckingham that they actually determined the coin wouldn't kill anyone if yeah, you dropped it I, from any height. I really agree. Hmm. And that's also why I didn't think a hard hat just hitting someone on the head would kill them. Because I, th- yes, it was fake. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are right. Because I looked up the weight of a hard hat and it's about 400 grams. And I just thought, no. Is that it? That wouldn't kill you. Yeah, That's what I thought. A coin is like one gram. 400 grams. 400 not... coins? That might kill you. Plus a coin's hard... more than one gram. Two? It's like at least 10, 15. I don't know grams very well. I'm not a druggie like you. <laughs> no, I'm not a druggie. <laughs> 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 like, like how am I supposed to know what a gram is? I don't know. Yeah, how many ounces of weed do <laughs> this hard hat fit? I don't know what a gram is. Ugh. Um... Right. Okay, so Jackson's on two points, Jordan's on one point. Uh, I just decided there's points. Yeah. There's always points. <laughs> how many uh, How many are there? I never uh, get to play in these games. Like, I, this is pretty fun, fun like right? eight or nine or oh, so. Oh, hell know. yeah. Oh, my God, this is dope. And there's going to be double points at some point if Jordan <clears> falls too far behind. Or if I do. Right. A jockey has a heart attack while uh, in the middle of a horse race. His body actually remains in the saddle and he ends up winning the race. Wow. Impressive. But he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because the horse would slow down, man. Man, what? Don't nah, you think? Man. If he's getting, and also now Zach's trying to t- t- take me off whatever path I, t- I I'm on. I don't even know which. Why side would you I'm say what? You're taking me off a path. So yeah, if you read too much into him, I think you're gonna. No, that's yourself. how you got the first point. No, yeah, I, I didn't read too much into you... it though. Ooh, but anyway, so you ride it. You're a horse. You're, yeah. you're you're getting whipped by someone. That's Ooh, how it works, right? Sounds good. And you're like, shit, I gotta go faster. Yeah. Suddenly the whipping stops, and like, oh my god, have you t- ever tried to carry someone who's a dead weight compared to someone who's like stiff? Yeah, but a horse is like f- strong. But it's got to slow you down at least four percent. No way you're winning unless it's. You're saying he did die, lap. but he didn't win the race. Yeah, surely. So it's. F- I would say if a jockey died, well, yeah, the you gotta say. You win. gotta say confidently, dying or lying. And the jockey stays on the horse, doesn't even fall. Nah, crazy. Can you give me the wording again? <laughs> no, this feels like I'm getting attacked on the wording front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no the, wording, okay, Zach. I'm, I'm gonna read you. it exactly as I've written it down. Oh, he does it. A jockey had a heart attack in the middle of a horse race. His body remained in the saddle and he won the race. Dying. Ooh, what does that I mean? like how you use the terminology. He's supposed to use dying or lying. Yeah. Oh, mm, and what did I say? What's fake? Lying. 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 What's fake? What do you reckon? Lying. Jackson's right. Yeah. <sighs> Three one. It was true, mm. and it was what? a um a well known jockey, Frank right. Hayes. 
Oh, Frank Hayes. Oh, he yeah. is well known. Yeah, he was well known Frank. in like 1930 something. Wow, it's that old. Wow, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Sounds like someone they lied about 1930s. But yeah, it's not a true. bit of sort of history revision. Sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, but it's fake. Uh, Jackson's on three points. Jordan's on one. Ooh, Jordan. Bloody Undefeated yeah. for me. Oh, a wow, man, yeah. A man was killed when a cow fell through his roof and crushed him where he slept. So fucked. A cow that fell through his roof. wouldn't come up with that to try and think that we're going to believe that. No way you come up with a cow falling through a roof and crushing someone as a good a good trick. That's so nuts. How that, is a cow on the this roof? This reminds me of when I came up with um, whatever that stupid reality TV show was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then it was oh, you actually do came you remember up with what it, it was? Nah, I wish. What about the tuna? Was it the tuna one? Something <laughs> about that I'm remembering as well. Canned tuna. Yeah, canned tuna. Um, right. So a cow fell through the roof. Why is a cow on Cows are never on roofs. And roof. crushed him. Are they? No. You know, cows can't go downstairs. Do you, have you heard about this? So maybe he was stuck there for so long he had to fall down. Just jumped. Why can't they go downstairs? They yeah, joints can't. don't allow it. How can they go upstairs? Because it's a different sort of motion, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I heard about a school that pranked. Yeah, our like school on did it once. Put on the, a cow on the top of the no science way building. Yeah, and you need a crane to get it, it down. Yeah. yeah, you lead a cow upstairs and then it's just like when you do it to the school for like muck up day, it's just their problem to get the cow down. I feel like it must just be dumb. I feel like if you can go upstairs, you can go downstairs. Well, you think it's a <laughs> sort of a brain limiting factor, yeah, not yeah. a choice. Well, have, have these cows tried walking backwards down the stairs? Now there's an idea. Or maybe they could do that. If it's bending to go up, then it can just keep bent and then put the other one down. Why can't right. a cow walk hmm. downstairs? Here we go. Oh. It reminds me of Doctor Who where Daleks Why, can't go just up the stairs. Can? To put it simply, it is very difficult for a cow to walk downstairs. Although at the first notion may seem ridiculous, cow's inability to complete a seemingly simple feat is actually makes quite a bit of sense. Cows struggle with walking downstairs because the incline and structure of the stairs is not found in nature and they're tailored for human leg proportions. Ah, well, that means yeah. I guess a lot of animals should not be able to use stairs, but Ollie, Dogs my dog, destroys. He, he, he ruins the stairs. He actually like sprints down and there's a little, co- there's a corner on our stairs. Yeah, he's got pretty good at that. And I think he's about to hit the wall every time. He goes like <laughs> four steps at a time yeah. and then just chucks a hard right. And this, this is when like he hears the door, <laughs> someone knocks on the door and mm. he's upstairs. He's fucking racing off. Because it's quite like, it's 75% of the stairs, then a turn. So you, he's got pace. Yeah. And, and then he's he he making the turn. a turn. He's looking like a horse with Frank Hayes on his back. He doesn't slow either. Like, no. a, you know, like an F1 car is going to go like whatever, just half the speed around a corner. <laughs> yeah. And he's not slowing down. <laughs> I'm uh, going to so say this is true, by the way. Uh, it's a lie. Sorry. No. What's it? Die. Dying or lying? Die. He Dying. died. He died. He I'm died. going with lying. Jordan wins. Damn. Yes. He's it on the board. was in Brazil and it did happen. Wow. man died when a cow fell on him. So how did it fall through the roof? How did it get there? You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get that far. Uh, do you want me? I can I can find it out if we want. Sure. But yeah, I was just saying, no, that's a crazy thing to come up with to try and trick someone. A cow fell Give, through. Because that gives Zach some credit. He's quite creative. Mm, yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah, but he's quite reasonable as well, I'd say. All right, here we go. Oh, the one-ton cow was grazing on a hill behind the small house where it stepped onto the asbestos roof, which oh. collapsed under its weight. And I feel like most roofs would collapse under the weight of a cow. Yeah, I can't imagine mm. this holding up. If it the c- ceiling only. A ton, did you just say? A ton. It's a lot. Uh, yeah. Wait, is a cow really... A- Mm, one ton cow. That's the least believable part. No, cows are freaking huge, man. Oh, I would I know, saw. Boys. A th- I was looking up the because I was thinking of, of getting in- a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I was thinking of inventing a um fake animal crushing someone. So I looked up the heaviest the animals, kilos. and a giraffe weighs a ton. Average cow weight is five hundred and ten kilos. Oh, okay. So, so this was cow. a fat cow. That's just jacked cow. All Jeez. right. Next one. So that puts Jordan on two points. Jackson's on three. Yep. Uh, a locksmith locked his tools inside his truck and froze to death in the cold. Oh, that's so sad. That would just suck. It's a bit of an ironic one. It is ironic, but in the moment... How do you go to that funeral? You probably wouldn't be thinking of that. How do you go to the funeral? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> They're just like, Dave did what he loved. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. I guess he but didn't. But he got it wrong. He didn't do what he loved. He got it wrong. Yeah, if only he could do what he loved in the moment. Yeah. Like if someone died having sex, let's say. Let's say, 
I was going to say, oh, let's say Jordan's mum, right? What a way to go. She died like wait, that way. Wait, why does what it have to your be- mom? Why does it have to Can be Jordan's mum? Mom? I didn't your want it to be my mum. Well, he doesn't mom. want to think of his mum having sex. Yeah, yeah, but your, your mum, mom, I don't. But no, your mum. best believe attached. Jackson is currently imagining your mum. <laughs> okay, the someone's mum. Jackson's mum. Someone's mum. Why is it going to be a mum? Let's just say it's theoretically Jordan's mum. So Jordan's mum dies in that way, right? Do, do you you find out? Yeah. Do you tell people that come to the funeral or do you just say, oh, poor thing? Oh, like when they ask? Yeah. Well, I guess like, you gotta oh, say. how did they No, we just say heart attack or something. Oh, Because that's right. probably how that person, in this case your mum, would die. <laughs> and they're like a frozen block of ice. You're like heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no frozen head. solid. <laughs> Um, do you know what I mean? Do, would you reveal that information, or do you just are you keeping that cards close? So to it's chest? a heart attack death. Let's say I don't think I think like you, you have to tell people, but you really don't want to. Do you say like she, she died doing what she loved? I just yeah, I probably just say heart attack. Heart I feel. attack. Yeah. Oh damn. Because so you wouldn't want to be going into details, no matter what it is at the mm. funeral. Died like doing if, what she loved, being very cool. Yes. Like, <laughs> like if someone <laughs> died and they died because they had a heart attack because they were eating lots of cheeseburgers, you probably wouldn't say. Oh, he was eating so many cheeseburgers. Yeah, you well, wouldn't. No, I, just think, say I think that's a bit of a message to the people, sort of a PSA. But not at know, the funeral, This man. guy, time like, and place. You know, it's your. I think it's your place. If your mum dies oh, of to too many cheeseburgers, yeah, that's on you to let other people know so they don't make the same. Like you know, like they don't make the same health mistakes. Yeah, but you wouldn't bring it up at the funeral. The funeral's like, let's not. Well, at the end of the funeral, you hand out like a pamphlet. No, yeah, you that's probably the whole wouldn't thing be when serving cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do not want to be serving cheeseburgers at that funeral. It's like the whole thing where people get annoyed when it's like, uh, like it's you can't convince someone, or you you don't bring up like like someone gets shot by a gun and dies. Mm. Then people start being like, oh, gun guns are bad. It's like not now. What? But that's exactly what. That happens. is good. That's a good like conversation the whole, to have. The whole George Floyd thing where he was killed by police, it's like that then became a big talking point because of the death. Mm. Mm, cheeseburg- uh, yeah. Yeah. Cheeseburgers are a bit more of a silly example, yeah, but I okay. still think we can use the PSA. Regardless, what were we talking about? I don't uh, know. It is the locksmith that locked his tools oh, in yeah. the truck <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. froze to death. <laughs> right. Do um, we think that's dying or lying? Nah, he would have... <sighs> lying. No. Yeah, lying. What were you going to say he would have... What, what's the rationale? Yeah, talk us through that. Um, Just sounds like... I feel like... Where are you going to freeze to death? Just walk away. I mean, not Australia, true, but maybe like Canada or... But just keep... Just walk. I actually don't know where it took place. Also, I feel like a locksmith is always cold. kind of at someone's house. There's going to be people around. Locksmith isn't like an explorer who's in the desert by themselves. Just like... Yeah, but he might have been going to like... Let's say he's somewhere cold and he's driving out someplace. I suppose you probably because there might you're not be see a car come past. How long are you gonna be there till you freeze to death without any car coming past on your drive as a locksmith? Yeah, mm. you're not you're not on a lonely road in the middle of nowhere. I feel. I will just say there's been a lot of people in the world. Stop trying to convince you could me, say, you bastard. Yeah, but you could say, <laughs> oh, where would a cow fall through your roof? Yeah, you Brazil. know, like these are the most. Yeah, we know that now. Okay, I'm going with lying. That's it was lying. Is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you both get a point. You're four to Jackson, to four to Jackson, two to Jordan. No, no, I thought three that was, to me. Three I thought three now. Yeah, three, four. Okay, they I thought that was more believable than a lot though. That's yeah. why I thought you made it up because it was some too reason believable. It, it was the locksmith locking his tools wouldn't really contribute to his death is why I went against it. What do you mean? Like, it would just be that a guy, like, died. That's that's interesting. No, but you've got to bring up the moment, otherwise people aren't going to know. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. the PSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I feel no, like a locksmith's tools wouldn't save him from dying, though I see now. Yeah, okay. But the ironic, he would be able to get back into his car if he had his tools. Yeah, yeah the ironic deaths you. is like where the ones that get attention yeah. is why you hear about them. Mm. See, the reason I came up with this is because um, I've had a friend lock their keys in their car mm. and so, like a locksmith and drove to the house like I've heard this. with tools yeah. and like jimmied it down the side and got into the car. Oh. So pe- locksmiths do use tools to get into cars and they do yes. travel places. But unfortunately, you guys yeah, but he doesn't had n- travel less in the middle knowledge of nowhere. than me. So. No, I knew. That's why I kind of, you were right. I think, I think like a locksmith's not going to go that far that he would stop and get caught in the middle of nowhere. Where no one comes past ever. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. If it was like an ice road trucker. Mm. Now I'm on board. <laughs> yes. A lawyer tried to prove that the windows of a skyscraper were unbreakable by throwing himself into the window. 
Oh my god! And the window popped out. And That's fell to his brutal. Death. That reminds me of like the uh, what's it called, the Cybertruck or whatever, where they. What are they? Oh, have yeah. you seen that? And they're like, these windows are oh, unbreakable, yeah. and they throw it and it smashes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> what if there oh. was? What if there was like someone in the car, like Elon was in the car, Shoot and he's me. like giving us a wave? Yeah. That would have been before he bought Twitter, though. So. If no, I'm not. I, I'm not. Arrow. I'm not saying he should die. Actually, I realize that's a good call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to think about this. A All right. Bit. I what do you guys think? Trying to think if anyone would be silly enough to even try that. Hundred percent. People try to. People have died trying to like shoot a bulletproof yeah, vest and stuff. Lawyers, they're usually more intelligent. And what are they really trying to be convincing? And if they just have faith in this glass, what would be the case where that would be? It's a bit relevant? of like a Saul Goodman, like unorthodox Who's way Saul? of Saul. Saul Goodman, Breaking Bad. Anyway, we'll ignore it. everyone else on the planet knows this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, he uh, he does like these unorthodox ways of winning cases in the show. Is like he a lawyer? This, ah. uh, yeah, he's a lawyer. I remember this one. It's a popular clip, and the he asking the guy on trial like, "Are you a hundred percent sure that the defendant is like the man that robbed your store or like mm. killed him or whatever?" And then the guy's like, "Yep, hundred percent. It was this dude." And then he was like. Well, my defendant is actually at the back of the courtroom and he had just got like a lookalike to sit there. Right. Some of them looked very similar and he was like, ah, can't be sure. And can't it's be like, ah, gotcha. Yeah. It's like a bit of a gotcha. That's uh, good. On that note, I'm going with lying. Wait, 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 wait. So there's a lawyer. Who threw himself out the window to prove that the glass was unbreakable. Why is he there to prove the glass for something? Not sure. I'm going to say no, true. No, dying. I did say... What he was trying to prove, but oh well, dying. Jordan's gone true. Jackson's gone false. Mm-hmm. Sorry, dying. I've gone and lying. lying yeah. yeah, and it was dying. Yes, wow. Evened it up. Evened four, it four. up, Jordan. Wow. So yeah, he was trying to prove the windows were unbreakable, and, and they did break. Oh no, no, no! The window didn't break, but it popped out. And oh, oh no! Right. So the window actually did not break. Well, I assume it break broke when it hit the pavement. Yeah. But he just yeah. Threw himself into the window and it popped oh, out. That's didn't so break, brutal, and he man. Fell Twenty-four stories. <laughs> They're all just like, "All right, re- quick recess." <laughs> While we saw <laughs> this guy. Out. No, it wasn't in a courtroom. I think it was in the place where oh, he was trying. Right. To what was the case? Do you know? What, I'm, I'm curious what that would right. even be about. Oh man, that's so sad. What a what a really committed lawyer. Yeah, he was. Just yeah, it's kind of like he's doing, and he was right. That's the worst yeah. part. Uh, yeah, it didn't break. Oh, did it break in a way? You know. Oh, no. It didn't function. It didn't break. Okay. In an attempt to... It was Gary Hoy. Right. In an attempt to prove the group of articling students that the building's glass windows were unbreakable, he threw himself against the glass. Glass did not break when he hit it, but the window frame gave way and he fell to his death. I'm going to see the background here. 24 stories is a lot as well. Okay. So, interestingly... Uh, I, I might have said this a bit wrong, but it was while giving a tour of the Toronto Centre place to a group of students, he attempted to demonstrate the strength of the window by slamming himself into it. He had apparently performed this stunt many times in the past, having previously bounced harmlessly off the oh, glass. Oh, he'd been loosening up for years. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of on him at that point. Yeah, see, I was trying to think of what the case would be is why I went lying. Because I was uh, thinking, I was like, confused and then I didn't think about it. What case would it be I where on. that would happen? So, because there was a structural and... Eng- Structural engineer that was quoted as saying, I don't know of any building code in the world that would allow a 73 kilo man to run up against it and withstand it. So he was... Mm. So he was an engineer. No, no, no. That is like a structural engineer saying it. So this guy was in like building law. Right. So you you know, like you have to build a skyscraper with certain uh, standards. Yeah, he's like, so you can't the break The lawyer was class. like, yeah, the lawyer was like, look, it's all up to code. You can't break it. Hope the code got changed after that. Jeez. That's like the Boeing thing recently. Have you guys seen that? Boeing's been a bit sus on like what's Boeing like the planes the, yeah oh Boeing seven three seven yeah right? yeah yeah like someone there was a whistleblower saying like a lot of this shit's been dodgy right oh, b- and I now he's I dead. I don't know if I want to hear anymore. He died. He's been killed. Like probably. assassinated. Most likely. Allegedly. Well, he said, like I don't know how long it was. Ago, if anyone knows, maybe a few weeks ago. Like if I die, it's not suicide. Died in the last few days. Bit what, of a what to? So no, they don't know. He's just like missing. Right? I think oh. no. I think I'm not sure. 
I mean, it would be a bit, be a bit bad by the assassin if it was like left a suicide note. Suicide. If I die, it wasn't suicide, and it's like let's pin it on him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it's that, a bit I fucked. don't want to hear any more about that. I fucking hate thinking about plane safety already. That's true. I'm literally going on a flight to Melbourne tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You just got to think that planes are like ten thousand times safer than cars, and then you could. They are. Yeah. I don't even need to think about that. It doesn't matter. I'm not. Yeah, it. I always get really stressed like leading up to getting on a plane or like going on a holiday. Then as soon as I'm like in the airport and I get on, I'm just like, oh, what movies do they have? And I don't give a shit when I'm on the plane. Right, interesting. I suppose you can't Uh, change it at that point. Yeah, I wonder if that's like a coping mechanism. Mm. But it's like, it's thinking of the idea of something. I hate flying, God. Mm. Yeah, and I don't want to think about it anymore. So let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. Two more. Even scores. Mm. Big game. 4-4. A man who managed to escape a sinking ship on a lifeboat tries to shoot a flare gun, accidentally shoots a hole in the boat, and drowns at sea. Oh, man. Man, these are all so brutal. That's just straight up dying. He's dead. That's true. I'm so confident. Yeah, me too. I feel like I've even heard this before, potentially, so I'm going to say dying as well. Damn. I'm not going to think about it much more than that. Wow. Both Both dying. Confident. Were. Wrong. Incorrect. Oh, so I confident, confident and so yeah. wrong. Could like have had a chance lawyer. to get ahead if you guys went on opposite things. No, I made that up this morning. Wow, I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah, it sounds Look, like, I, there's possibility the one, that yeah, it, the one, it could have happened. The ones I happen. made up, there could be a possibility, but it's more guessing. Like, did I think of it this morning? Yeah, or did it's I? Zach's brain versus <laughs> the real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach's brain or death, pain. New name. <laughs> New title for the podcast. Let's go back to the old <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dying or lying was pretty good. I don't know. Um, yeah, but I thought that could, you know, somewhat happen. You're like pulling the flare gun out and then yeah. you get a bit of a... Maybe I should have said... No, I shouldn't have said this, but what if you had like Tourette's or something or some kind of thing where you get an uncontrollable twitch. Twitch. ADHD True, that would or like suck. Parkinson's. <clears throat> Yeah, what if you're like a fidgeter and then you forget for a second? Like, I'm always clicking in pens. True, if I had Tourette's, I'd be scared of cooking. Like, you got a knife, you're chopping potatoes. Yeah, it's kind of... You could just die at any moment. It's hard to... That's <laughs> scary. Don't, yeah. All right, last round. <laughs> okay. Dying or lying? Is this um, the final? Yep. A man acting in a play where his character is scripted to have a heart attack actually has a heart attack on stage and nobody notices it's real and they continue the play around him. Lying. I'm, ta- I'm taking oh, it wow. now. It's up to you. But I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> go different. Yeah. I was going to go different anyway. I was about to do Sis Pay Rock to see who would choose first. Oh, what you already what would you in. have gone with? I was going to go with True anyway. Oh, okay. Ooh. That Ooh. feels real. No, I was thinking this Why sounds... Why are you quick on the draw there, George? Can I'm... I lock in the answers? Well, we're locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I'm locked in. But I want to hear the reasoning I'm thinking though. this sounds... Um, familiar to a classic thing where like, oh, the gun was actually real or the bottle was actually real and then they die. Heart attack at the same time you're supposed to have a heart attack. I could picture... The odds on that are like very specific, right? I can picture an actor getting so into it that they induce it. Whoa. Like, yeah, it's, it's like just like a Jim Carrey, you're in the moment yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, like method acting, take method it too acting. far. Because <laughs> you don't... Like, I think it would probably be more common to have heart attacks, like, while riding a horse or while yeah. acting very intensely. Yeah, that is true. And I feel like, yeah, acting and, like, sometimes, I, I'm assuming professional actors, like, if they do a sad scene, they probably do feel, like, emotionally drained after they do it. So That's I can true. imagine trying to get yourself into a thing where it feels like you can have a heart attack and that inducing it for the actor. Maybe. And I feel like, though, you have a real heart attack, you probably drop in a way that's far too convincing. Well, that would be like good acting. People are like, oh, nice, good job. Mm, but you'd be like, wow, that was too much. No, I don't think you would. Nah, I'll stick with my first point. I, that second point was a bad point, I yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was true. Yeah. Oh, so wow. Just, I just wanted to see how many times I could have Jordan back up his answer <laughs> before. <laughs> That's before almost like it's actually bad to talk about this stuff before you lock it in because someone's, you know, if you're wrong, you look like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. you go further <laughs> and further like, There's down. no way that this... <laughs> Yeah, wow. that, that was kind of crazy. But you would, like, how would you notice? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. they're like, have a heart attack have a heart and lie attack. there for a bit. And, and then, they're probably just thinking, fuck, he's on something else today. Look at him go. I believe Whoa. it possibly could have also been an on-TV play. Oh, interesting. Man, that's the worst time because that's, you're going to get no help. Like, maybe yeah. that person would have easily survived yeah. if people were like, oh, let's fix him up. I don't know what they do for heart yeah. attacks. Fix them up. That's what they do. <laughs> I don't know. What do you do for heart attack? Do you know? Probably mouth to mouth. So you don't know? 
No. Okay. <laughs> fight back. Probably. <laughs> if the heart attacks, the heart you attacks. Fight back. You need heart defense real yeah. quick. <laughs> Give him some salad <laughs> or something. Put your heart in defense position. Oh god. Um, um, yeah, no. style. That's. Yeah, you restart the heart probably like the. Yeah. CPR and yeah, I think it's the, uh, defib. Defib. We're gonna need some defibs after all the fibs I was telling him. Yeah. That was dying or lying, <laughs> that everyone. Was good. I enjoyed that was playing very a game. Good. I never yeah. get to play the games. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I mean, I should come up with a game for next week. That was very good. Except for the Kanye West one, which I also really enjoy. Oh, oh yeah, Jordan's Kanye, Kanye determined, Kanye determined lyric. lyric. We need that, but with a new. Artist. We need a new you rapper. Know, you know, um, Eminem's dropping a new album. Dr. Dre announced it. Eminem doesn't have very silly lyrics, though, does he? Nowadays, maybe he's old. He's old ones, maybe. I feel like Kanye's just so good at the stupid lyrics. He does do the dumbest sort of things. You should do Jordan or like Young Gravy or something. Or Baby No Money. They yeah. have stupid lyrics. Well, maybe yeah. I should do that because I know their style a bit more. Maybe. I'll give it a try for next week. Um, would you like to play my Dune game? It's not really a game. Um, I, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> the podcast stands. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to come up with a game about Dune. I said I said before. And then I was like... Have you been doing this? Doing this too? Have you been doing you, this too? <laughs> yeah. I've been seeing people do doing this. this, doing this, right? <laughs> Not great. Has any of us seen anything about Dune? Like Dune One? No. I apparently it's really good, and everyone's like, "You should watch it." I'm yeah. Just, how is Dune? Is Not anyone a else a bit confused guy. about it? Dune 2's come out of nowhere and now suddenly everyone knows No, everyone talked Dune. about Dune the first time. It was like, yeah, but everyone talked ago, about though. it being like Dune One kind of shit. And then Dune 2's come out and they're like, whoa! This yeah, well, I think is, uh, allegedly like, the first amazing. one's very like setting up this one. Oh, right. So it's a bit of an alley-oop. The first three-hour movie is an alley-oop for the second one. I'm like, don't have time for that. <laughs> and then like everyone's yeah, loving the one, second though. one, but like I did the correct play of not going and seeing Dune 1 because one. why would I? Well, you might like it. And you know, what, you know what's kind of pissed me off though? They did a double feature of Dune at the cinemas, but they only did it for like two or three days when, right. when it came out. And I'm like, I want to go see the double oh, feature. Oh, well, fuck that they shit. They play one and then play the Six other. Six hours? Yeah. That's a long time. It's the only way to do it. I'll, I'll do, it. I'll do uh, that with you. The they, they're doing not doing it. anymore, though. They're not doing anymore. <laughs> I mean, you can just watch it at home and then go to the movies. Mm, true. Yeah. Where is it on anything? Apparently Oppenheimer's coming to Netflix, so I'll probably check that out. Oh, yeah, because that, that's what I was thinking about, because Holly and I did the Barbenheimer the thing. Mm. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> the bomb. Oh, I thought you said that's long. I was like, that okay, it is long as well. The bomb. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah, that was one where it's like that kind of ruined the experience, probably for me, because we watched Barbie first and then Oppenheimer. And it's like you're tired and it keeps going. And anyways, you liked Barbie more, didn't you? You said. Yeah, but it might have been a circumstance situation. Yeah. All right. Let's hear this, Dune. Well, so then I looked up. What are some things that people do? Dune. Yeah. So just any Dune fans, we're not going to talk about yeah. it at all. Let's well, get that did, out of the sort way. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Sandworms. That's it. There you go. Yeah. They shit out sand. And with Dune one, we're not going to bother. Nah. Right. So then I found this list of forty things basically everyone does but doesn't talk about. Oh. So I want to know: Do you guys do these things? I'm, I'm hey, so doing these things. I'm so sorry. sorry. Go on. Real quick sidebar. We'll just, never get to play this game. Just the. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of a video idea that yep. might be very funny. Okay. Where I watch Dune Part Two because everyone thinks it's good, and skip Dune Part One and try to piece it together. Try and guess. Yeah. I wonder if you have to. Everyone watch says it. the first one is bad. I would. What if I, I just I, I watch Dune Part Two and then I come up with the story for one and then I see how close I am? Is that a good video? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. Why not? Because I feel how like... How would you title that? The only people... like Okay, so there's people who just have seen it and then you're just wrong, maybe. Yeah, but people like that. Do they? Yeah, like they the do. Pokemon, like my mum guesses Pokemon. It's like, I'm finding that funny because I know the Pokemon's name. Oh, have you seen true. those things where it's like people watch the first and last episode of a TV series? And no, then no you, but they try and piece they it like, together. Yeah, they see like... I haven't seen this. Goes. Okay, I just haven't seen anything. So that's why I... I'm saying I wouldn't watch it because I haven't seen Dune 1. So then I'm like, hmm... Any Dune Interesting fans? Opinion. Uh, let me know. Anyway, let's go. Right. So, have you been doing this? Number one, you're not going to believe how f- like ridiculous these are. Okay. Walking up a hill. Have I been doing? Have it? I have done been that? doing this? What does that mean? I've been on number one, walking up a hill. Have I've you been, been doing on a lot that? of walks recently? Where have you but found this? No hills. <laughs> Shh, answer the question, Jordan. So, what's it? Have you walked up a hill ever? Yeah. Have you been doing this? How uh, recently? The last month. No. A hill. No, okay. For starters, Perth is an extremely flat city. Mm. Yeah, mate. You go to San Francisco and you can't make it to the mailbox without walking. You've been up walking a hill. up a hill. Yeah, so I'm gonna say no. Have I been. think 
I have walked up a hill because I went down south last weekend. I was mm, walking there was a hill. hill. There was a hill. See, but it wasn't like a massive hill. Most of my long walks are around this park, which is extremely flat. Mm. Uh, I used to walk around the golf course near our house, which does have like a big uphill, big down. Yeah, yeah. What are you? What are you saying? I'm going to say... You're, Jackson's giving me a bit of a smile like my story's not just, interesting in no, the slightest. <laughs> and I think he's on the right page and it still hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm just laughing at how much we're committing to talking about walking up a hill. Well, <laughs> this is what you fucking brought as a game. I know. So I'm trying to make it work. Uh, he's got 40. And I'm getting, and I'm getting 40. glares from across the room. I'm glaring at you. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm not Wait, glaring. Do you have 40 answers here? D- yeah. Okay, so could, if a minute on each is still 40 minutes, we can Wait. spend like 30 seconds. Oh, I didn't know there were 40. No, I'm f- loving it. Keep going. We can, we can do two parts of this game. <laughs> so it's it's going to be the whole We've podcast. We've spent like at least three minutes on this. That's 120 uh, minutes Jackson, if we keep this up. give us all the bad up. ones so that have you been doing this part one is shit. And then we'll do the good <laughs> have, have you been, been doing, doing this, this in the part two, like oh, the movies. Oh, right. That's good. All right, bad one. Have you been doing this appreciating music? <laughs> no. So, yeah, been, I guess so. Yeah, I have. Yeah. If anything, I've been not appreciating new music. Like Fredigan's new stuff, I'm not a big fan not of big compared fan to of his it. old stuff. Right. Oh, I just, I added, uh, like I, I heard a song that I liked. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this game's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Minion <laughs> game got nothing on this. Do you guys do, Holly and I do, doing this. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> I don't know if there's so many people doing. Yeah. But like if we're eating Italian, we'll put on Italian music. You did music. tell me this, yeah. I love it. Or like if we're oh, eating Mexican, we'll I put see. on some Mexican like restaurant music and then eat. Because you're cool. getting the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is awesome. It's yeah. very sensory. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like all the senses are covered. You're eating a Vegemite sandwich, you're listening to Down Under. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Do, 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 do. Is it called Down Under? No, it's called... Oh, God. I come from the land. Down land down, down... I don't know. Whoa. I come from the oh, land men down at, under. How have we... Men at work, and it's called... Down, I think it's called Down Under. Down Under. No. Look that up. I can't lose my... Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to lose my citizenship. I'm just going to Google Men at Work, because it's the only un- song they've ever under. done that had any relevance. And there you go. I think it's just called Down down Come under. On. Okay, yeah. it is. Whew. We both. Wow. We all retain We're our safe. citizenships. Wow, that was weird. Have you been doing this? <laughs> Staying sleepy. No, I, my sleep habits on top of it since my weird sleep product video. Uh, I I got good sleep habits. Then it went to shit. And then it's and then it's good now. Right. It's good now. I have uh, been doing this because I slept in this morning. Yeah, true. I've been not doing this for the past past a uh, few days. Yeah. Because I've been nailing it with not uh. Uh, like watching YouTube or getting on just our phones in the d- no 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 just in the whole day, and then I feel like I just have more energy. Wait, it's not getting never zapped. Never looked at your phone. Less. Not like really. Yeah, like over the whole weekend, Holly and I were like, okay, we're not looking at social media once the whole weekend. Putting your phone oh, just on you- charge in different rooms, good. And then like, because and then we're calling each other out on it, like, oh, I'm gonna go to the toilet, but I'm not gonna look at my phone, and we're like, oh, didn't do it. Damn. Like, and then it's just what like, what are you doing a poo though? Yeah, just oh, do right. the poo, man. Oh, God, what do you have what a do you think? Do? Use your brain. Like you're also not. I feel like this long. is a Dr. Seuss book. What do you do? What do you do <laughs> when you do a poo? Big poo? <laughs> just think or something. I don't know. Do a poo. How about you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but then that carried over into the the last few days of the actual week, and then I feel like I have so much energy in the day because it doesn't get dopamine zapped or something. Yeah, it's and true. It's, it's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. When I poo, when I poo, how do you? I didn't bring my iPhone too. <laughs> Dr. Zeus. Sorry, this is my favourite bit ever and I'm just going to... All right, well, you can come up with one for this. Number four. <laughs> We're only a four out of 40. This is my favourite segment we've ever done. Ever. Okay. What a great article. It just says passwords. Wait, this is an article? Yeah. You didn't come up with these? No, no, it's no. written here. Okay, perfect. Number four, passwords. Huh? What was the article? Oh, I got something to say about pass. No, I actually have 40 nothing. things basically everyone does but doesn't talk about. Passwords. Passwords. It's got to be saying something more. You Honestly, can't. Jackson. And it has a meme of a cat. Password what? is incorrect. Password is incorrect. Password is incorrect. Change password. New password can't be the same as old password. Oh, my God. I relate to this. So, okay. Oh. I've, I've got a statement okay. to make. No, 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 no. no. It's hey, saying- he's got a statement <laughs> to make. I've got a statement, Jordan, too. Yeah. Every web developer and company in the world agree on whether I need- a special character or not, and how many characters my password needs to be. Yeah. Some are eight, some are ten. I've come up with one minimum. that has ten letters, 
a special character and a number and a capital letter. Uh, Jackson, I'm about to shit on your day because some of them say no special characters and yeah, I want to kill myself. and I just myself. replace the special character because it's just replacing an yeah, but then letter. Here's the thing. <gasps> when I go to log in, it doesn't say, reminder, when you made your password, it had to have a special character. Yeah, that, I think so, that should be listed. Mm, yeah, should be, yeah, should be a list. it's got to be a requirement because that is the worst thing. And then... I forget all my passwords and often I, I go, feel like it's not my fault. I forgot password and then it comes up with, all right, this is what your password needs. And I'm like, okay, now I know what a password is and I go back. Mm. Mm. Okay, I feel like this is one we can move on from, surely. Passwords doesn't get as much airtime. What? You- <laughs> surely we can move on. I mean, you don't have any statements to make? I had a bit. <laughs> I just told the whole no, I, world I agree. to change its I, ways. I don't know what more I can add. <laughs> no, nah, it frustrates me immensely that there's not some kind of standardized set. Yeah. Brain freeze, number five. I haven't had a brain, I haven't had brain freeze, freeze in a while. I don't have cold, that cold of drinks anymore. Me, I, and I'm not like eating a bunch of ice cream and just like. Yeah. Do you yeah. think you can build up a tolerance to brain freezes? Because I, fe- I Must feel be able like, to. like you said, I don't have many ice cold drinks, but maybe once every six months I'll get a slushy. Yeah. Like I played m- Super Golf recently and I got a slushy oh. and instant brain freeze. I feel like I haven't been putting <laughs> my reps in. Probably, mm, probably. I would say so. Though I feel I like almost everything you can get a tolerance you for. you got to do the reps of like the ice cold drink. Yeah. Can we cap this segment at 10? Because we we're might have to come back. Golden yeah, content. this is, yeah. you've and got I your want, segment. I want at <laughs> least <laughs> four <laughs> weeks of this. I brought two things. Oh, no I need. didn't need two. I didn't even need one. Jesus. <laughs> I, I, want, I want many weeks of okay. this. Have you been doing this? Okay, so we've got, we've done five. We're going to do 10? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do 10. Unless the next five suck. But... Oh, yeah, that's bad. Birthday greetings. What do you mean? Have you given anyone birthday greetings? And there's a meme here, and it says, what you, like, "When you open a birthday card and pretend it's not, and pretend not to notice the money as you read it." Oh, dude, that's you're mean. messing that this all up. That that is the bit that people do. That last bit that you just read. No, no, no. You can't just be play the game. The play the game. <laughs> do you understand what's happening? Zach, he's messing what? up. No, I'm not messing up. The Some article them- is things that people do. And then Jackson just said, birthdays, let's talk about it. But the actual description is opening a card oh, look, and pretending right, there's not right. the money. No, there's memes. And the last thing so, before uh, that was yeah, okay. having you a password the memes where you put in your password and then it is your password again. Do you want to... Um, what? Do you want to hear what they all were? <laughs> yes, please. Okay, here's so wait, there's a the meme attached to everything. Yeah, but I was okay. skipping them. Right, and the meme go. is the actual thing that people oh, do. No, okay. I don't think we do the meme. Standing in the way. Have you been doing that? Of just someone, yeah. No, no, I think actually the thing that does give me a little bit of anxiety, I suppose, is that the supermarket. I always feel like I'm in someone's way. Really? Mm. Yeah. I think it's because everyone else is just so confident. You get the like the mums that are just like on a mission, and like I always feel like I'm in other people's way when yeah. it's really like it's on both people. Because when people are in my way, I'm like, how do you not know that you're in my way? Yeah, you know that you get you're stuck behind excuse someone. Excuse me. I, I do. Okay. Like, but I wait a second because you don't want to be like, "Excuse me" all the time. I feel like it's a bit much. There's a classic ah. like two mums, both with a trolley, both looking at items on either side, and yeah. they've like a blockade. Yeah. And then you're just like, no, I guess I won't eat pasta yeah. tonight. Yeah. What else is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Leave. Yeah. Um. What was this standing people's way? Mm. I think I there should be a that. universal system. Oh, or when you walk in, walking on a path and you like bump into someone, you know, you do the like, you both move left, you both move right. It's Stay a bit left. awkward. And then you're like, well, oh, oh, which way do we go? Yeah. Then you get past each other and you're like, I feel like you know them a bit, but it's really just weird. We need a system for that. Yeah. So it's like you Everyone always go, left. Always go, go left. left. Stay left. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but then you go to like uh, America where they drive on the other side of the road and they probably always go right. And then you just... <coughs> You're just very confidently going right and bat- butting heads. I motion with my hands which way I'm going. That's so <laughs> like smart. a bike rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> this. And then the person's like, can see. Because you put out I'll this arm. I'll probably go to high can... five you or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can put your oh, arm geez, out. Jeez, that's my never man. happened. But I can, yeah. <laughs> what up, dude? <laughs> Jackson, I think there's lots of ways that could go wrong. So, all right. They try and turn. You're walking. Yep. Head on collision with a random female stranger. You gesture left like you're about to move left. But she's moved to her right, and now you've accidentally maybe touched her. Oh, oh it's, no. It's from where I. I <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's like from like three meters out. I go like this. Oh, so you're like almost one of those people it's on the an plane indicator. runway. Three meters. Like. So you're not even having an awkward moment yet. You just prepare. No, I just kind of like, we're both walking in the middle. I'm like, I'm going no, this way. No, it's more for like start the, moving. the surprise. Like you come wow. around a corner or out of an elevator, and it's like, oh, quick decision. That's what when do you, you do? just kiss them. 
<laughs> so I'm making out with them. Yeah, that's confident. That'll diffuse it. Get some of those, um, yeah, the airplane runway lights mm. to like direct. Maybe you'll need shirts like I go left. <laughs> <laughs> and if you both have the same way, then you're just walking Everyone into each other like, like you're running Then you're supposed to be together. War. Everyone will think that's like a political thing. Yeah, I'm I, left. I go left. <laughs> I go left with a Trump hat on. It's confusing. Make America Trump great right? away. By the way, that. I walk right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever play 3D Frogger? No. God, it was my favorite game of all time. What was that on? And wow. I, I of don't, all time? I haven't yeah. even heard you talk about this. It's your favorite game of all <laughs> yeah. time. Jeez. Um, wow. I played the shit out of it and I loved it and I lo- don't have the CD also don't have a CD reader in the computer <laughs> who uses CDs ever anymore yeah. am I right <laughs> vinyls though uh, no, of vinyl. I don't have a frog of vinyl either yeah. but <laughs> I've never soundtrack. gone back and played it and you know don't I'm f- I'm, no I'm thinking about it now I think <gasps> I will well it's gonna I ruin it probably don't think I ever beat it you should stream and it. It was so sick. My favorite game ever. I would click on that. Oh, there's like four polygons in the whole game. So brilliant. I don't know if people would be tuning into that, that old of a Frogger game. Yeah, Wait, so maybe. it's actually 3D? You jump up or something? Yeah, so you can do up. What year is go, this roughly, do you reckon? Frogger there was this 3D. one level where there's like, I think, bulls chasing you. Or I had a dream about that. <laughs> but see, I liked Frogger so much, it was making it into my dreams. Well, when frog. do you think this game came out? Frogger 3D. A long time ago, like in the 2000s and something, early 2000s. Not early, 2011. Oh, I, I don't know. Nah, it's got to be a different one, right? Oh, that's way different. Oh, that's no, no, no. This 3D. was this was. It probably wasn't even called 3D because it was barely scraping the oh. surface of 3D. Frogger. And there was like a ca- someone <clears throat> fucking comment this, please. There was like a cave level and there were spiders. Yeah, right. And there was. Oh my god, I'm gonna find this game. Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. Dude, I had that with Lego Stunt Rally, oh, no. and then I wanted to play it, and then it turns out it's just kind of bad. I think I'm going to have to get this Frogger game. I can't stop thinking about it now that I've thought about it. Mine was Lego Star Wars 2. I was just addicted. Is oh, this Lego Star Wars. this more it? Mm, that's looking good, but I'll have to have a closer that's look. Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, what's Frogger 1? No, you know what? I, I think Frogger I'll, 1's that old, like... One of the first games ever. Well, Atari sort of shit. Yeah. It might, does Frogger 1 have different levels? Nah, it wasn't that. Yeah. Oh, we should be finishing on a couple Apple reviews. We won't go through all oh, of them. Great yes. idea. But maybe we should cap off the end of every podcast with a five-star Apple podcast review. Love it. For oh, sure. This is For a sure. hugely long one. I think we've read it as well. This podcast is life-changing and it's like a massive long... Read it in the fastest you can. <laughs> end the pod. <clears throat> this is a five-star review from Fishes Are Epic. Let me tell you about the mind-blowing, soul-stirring, life-altering experience that is the Underdogs podcast. Brace yourself for a transformative journey unlike anything you've ever encountered. This celestial audio extravaganza would shatter the boundaries of your imagination, catapulting you into a realm where dreams merge with reality and the mysteries of the universe unveil their mesmerizing secrets. Each episode is an ethereal symphony of knowledge, sweeping you away on a profound odyssey that rewrites your perception of existence. As you listen, Peter's melodious voice dances through your ears, infusing with every thought with cosmic inspiration. Prepare to have your consciousness expanded, your horizons shattered, and your soul set ablaze with the cosmic wisdom that this podcast has to offer. The Cosmic Chronicles is an unparalleled masterpiece that ignites the eternal flame of curiosity within, propelling you to question, explore, and transcend the confines of mundane. It is not just a podcast, it's a celestial awakening, a transcendent voyage that will leave an incredible mark on your very being. Buckle up, dear listener, for a celestial escapade that will redefine your existence and unlock the infinite potential that lies within you we've heard that apparently yeah oh, we have heard that kill one. me 